Hello and welcome back to Excelsif. Today we are going to create an attendance sheet on Excel. In my last video, I had explained how you can create an attendance sheet on Google Sheets using checkboxes. And one thing I have noticed, if I want to create the same on Excel, so many checkboxes on Excel tend to make it respond slower. That could be my system specific issue, but I doubt it since my system may not be a powerhouse, but it's a decent configuration. So I thought of making a attendance sheet using ones and zeros and sometimes 0.52. Let me show you how. If you're comfortable with Google Sheets, you can always check my video about this. You can find the link on top right and in the description. Here we have our list of employees with their respective employee IDs and we are going to create the attendance sheet for the month of August 2023. So first, we have to mention dates against them and we can either mention full dates using a combination of date and sequence formula or simply mention just the date like 1, 2, 3, 4. That's up to you to decide. I would prefer just the dates because it makes the sheet easier to navigate. Tell you what, let me show you both methods and then it will be easier for you to decide. Let's go with full dates method and for that we will use a combination of date and sequence functions like this. We start by using date formula so, date, year is 2023, month is 8. For date, we will use sequence formula and we will skip the row argument because we need our dates in columns. So, we mentioned 31 in the column argument. Double closing brackets and we have our dates from August 1st to August 31st, 2023. Let's format these cells as dates quickly. And done. The problem with this method is that it makes the sheet unnecessarily long sidewise. These cells just have to contain single digits, ones and zeros and occasional 0 0.5 and therefore we don't really need them this wide. Now let me show you the other method. Let me delete all these dates and change the format to general. Or you know what? Let's simply get rid of the columns altogether by selecting them by control shift and right arrow. Then press Ctrl and spacebar to select them all and then Ctrl minus to delete them all. Now we can write a sequence formula. Sequence, then we skip the row argument and mention 31 in the column. Let's fix the column width here by selecting all of them with your mouse and right click here and go to column width. Let's choose 5. Let's also copy the formatting to these new cells now this looks better. All of the data is easily accessible. I don't know about you, depending on your monitor size and resolution, you may be able to look at it without having to scroll. I'm using a 32 inch monitor with 1920 by 1080p resolution and I don't have to scroll to see the whole sheet. Makes it a lot easier to work. Just to be clear about the month, we will insert a row above this and use merge and center and mention August 2023. Let's give it some color for aesthetic reasons only. We still have to make one modification in this layout. Weekends. Where I am, we only get Sundays off. So that's a day off for me. For you, it may be Saturday and Sunday or some other day. Either ways, just open up your calendar and mark all the weekends. Case in point, we have Sundays on 6th, 13th, 20th and 27th in the month of August. So we simply mention Sunday like this. I'm not using merge and center for two reasons. First, it will affect the formulas I'm planning to use that span this whole range. And secondly, if I intend to copy this sheet and use it for the next month, I'll have some extra steps on my plate since Sunday's next month will be on some other date. This way, it's much efficient. Let's give them color and make them bold. Now we have all the Sundays marked. Let's move to the next step, which is marking attendance. To enter the attendance, whenever we have to mark someone as present, we mention one and whenever someone is on unpaid leave, we mention zero. Occasionally, if working half days is allowed at your company, you can mention 0 0.5 as well. That's the beauty of the sheet. It's simple and flexible. So let me add some random attendance quickly and we'll continue. Now we have the attendance filled up for you. 
there are ones and zeros for present and absent and some 0.5s as well. Now we need to add them. Let's do that at the end here. We'll name this column as total and use this column to add our attendance. We'll use our trusted sum formula to add this. So sum, then select this whole range from here to here and we have attendance for this employee. Now let's copy this down to the end. Most of us might think this completes the attendance, but there is one nifty little trick I have to show before we end this video. The job of the attendance sheet is not simply that it marks attendance. It's an integral part of the salary calculation process. You don't pay your employee in full when he has taken a week of unpaid leave, right? So, to make our calculations easier, we are going to take some steps. First, we will add one more column here about attendance percentage. Let's do that here. But to calculate percentage, we need total working days of this month. So just like our video about attendance sheet in Google Sheets, we are going to use networkdays.intl formula here with a slight change. This time, since we don't have the dates mentioned here on the top, just the numbers, we are going to use the date formula inside network days formula. Let's write working days here in A1 and in A2, we will use our formula. We start our formula as network days and choose this option. Then for start date, we will use the date function. Year is 2023, month is 8 and date is 1. Put closing brackets and this completes the start date argument of the network days formula. Now for the end date, we will use date 2023, 8 and 31 and close the brackets. Now to choose the weekend, networkdays.intl has different options to choose from. Depending on your location and organization, you may have weekend on some other days. For me, it's Sunday and therefore I'll choose 11 here and close brackets. Press enter and we have our total working days in this month. Now getting back to percentage. We simply divide this total with our total working days here and use absolute reference on working days by pressing F4 because we intend to copy this formula down like this. Now just use the percentage formatting from number group here and we are done. Now we can calculate salary which is probably what we are going to do for our next video or maybe the video after that. Keep watching Excelsive so you don't miss that. This completes our attendance sheet and this is something that you can use every month. Just make a copy of the sheet Clear the attendance, change the working days formula to change the month and you have your attendance sheet ready for whatever month you want. I'll leave the link of this sheet in the description. Feel free to use it and if you have any feedback and or suggestions, get to the comments section. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next. Catch you in the next video. Until then, happy spreadsheeting.